Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and Atreo. And in this tutorial, we just want to be focusing more on how to remove folds and wrinkles from your studio backdrops in Photoshop. And I want to show you the technique that you can use to also identify and spot out those wrinkles, folds and that easily in Photoshop and how you can easily clean them up. So I know there are a couple of techniques that you can use to clean up or smooth in the backdrop. In Photoshop one of them being first of all selecting the subject and you apply a Gaussian blur radius onto the rest of the areas and I know that works pretty well but sometimes it may not work quite well and the other method is about using dust and scratch method to remove uh, these wrinkles or that from the studio backdrop but that also is not an effective way of how to clean or remove wrinkles and folds and also that from your studio backdrops in Photoshop. So in this tutorial, we're just going to be using the mixer brush tool to remove that that or even these lines. And I want to show you the direction you should move the mixer brush tool and the best way to spot the dirt or wrinkles in your studio backdrops so that you can spot them and clean them up. So let's just get started. And if at all you find this helpful, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If at all you're not yet subscribed this channel. So I'm just going to come with so you have to do this as the last step for your retouching or you can do it as the first step if at all you have the time. So I've created this stamp visible by hitting shift alternate control E on the keyboard or shift alternate command E on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to adjustments and I'm going to come to black and white. So when I come to black and white, I'm simply going to look at these channels. So I just want to look at the dirt areas or the areas that are dirty. So let me just first close this. So when you look at the image in color, in the colored version, and I try to zoom in, you can see it is quite hard to spot out these dirty areas. But when I come and create a black and white layer like I've done, and I double click on this icon, and I darken the colors, and I also darken the yellows. Don't mind about how my subject is looking right now. You can see, right now we can see every that the area and every wrinkle within the image well and even better just look at this line which is here it is very hard or slightly hard to look at it or visibly see it but when you turn it into black and red you can see every tiny wrinkle within the image just look at this that right here you can see the before and without the black and white and you can see that every even the dirt in the darkest area has been really shown by just this trick so just going to leave this selected or highlighted or visible and i'm going to come back and i select the image layer so you have to come and select the image layer and you come under the brushes simply right click and you select your mixer brush tool and the settings i would recommend for this process remember you want to leave it somehow as natural as possible so make sure it is a clean brush and we have two options right here the first one is load the brush after each and every stroke and the second is clean the brush after each and every stroke so just come and select the second one because we don't want to carry color from one area to another and this amount we're going to be use the weight of 12 percent the load at 75 percent the mix at 90 and the flow at 100 percent always make sure sample orders is not checked because we only want to clean up this information or the backdrop in this screenshot or in the stamp visible layer in this icon or in this layer. So with this layer selected, make sure you don't select the black and white, select this layer. And we're just going to start removing uh, that, that. So just make sure you left click and start moving your cursor or your cursor. If I told you your mixer brush tool is looking like this, just make sure you turn off the caps lock key and you can now come and proceed. You can see we are now cleaning up. And if at all you are even retouching and you can't visibly see maybe the blemishes, you can also incorporate this technique of creating a black and white layer and darkening it to see every skin imperfection in your images. So just come and paint. And for those strong blemishes, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of these lines right here. And that that so I'm just going to show you that later on in this very tutorial. So just come and move that. You can see it is cleaning up the dirt and it is really 
doing a very nice and perfect job for us. Just to increase on the size of your brush by using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard. So when you turn off the black and red layer, just look at this the before and after. Just look at how nice and seamless that has turned out to be. So let me show you first of all how to get rid of this, that and this line. So with this black and white layer activated once again, just look at this line. If I tell you you have a strong line and you're trying to clean it from your backdrop, so you can move your mixer brush tool in this. So if at all the line is moving from left to right, make sure that you move your mixer brush tool in a direction which is opposite uh, from the line. So in this case, I'm just going to be moving my mixer brush tool in an up-down kind of direction. So just come and simply move my mixer brush tool. You can see it is really cleaning up and doing a very nice and more decent job. Sorry about the noise. So I'm just going to move the mixer brush tool in an up-down kind of direction. And you can see it is just getting rid of that line easily. Just look at nice, how nice and flawless it is even removing the dirt. Just look at this dirt area. And I'm just going to paint in that dirt area. Just look at how nicely, nicely done this is getting to look. So just come and paint in those areas. And just look at how clean this area has turned out to be. So just look at this clean area. So just come and make sure that you paint in each and every area and make sure you are getting rid of the dirt areas. So if at all an area is a little bit more dirty, you have to paint a couple of times and it is going to be cleaned or it is just going to eliminate that dirty area from that specific spot. So just come and do that and make sure you also pay attention rather to the shadows and you keep the original shadows in the image because you don't want to distort them but you just want to clean the wrinkles in those shadow areas so just come and come to this side and also clean up the wrinkles just see how easy and fast this can be so just come and move that in that direction and you're going to be cleaning up the image or the backdrop in this case very fast nice and easily so just come and paint in just look at how seamless this is turning out to be within just a strokes or a few strokes of just painting in with the mixer brush tool so for a way bigger area just create a bigger size and just paint in through using the mixer brush tool and it's going to do for you a perfect job so you just make sure that you keep on zooming in and out and you work on the image depending on how small or how precise you want the clean area to be. So you can see if at all I was getting rid of those lines, I just had to zoom in and get the job done in this case. Just come and clean up the wrinkles in these areas and just see how nice and seamless this has turned out to be. So basically I prefer this technique for using as a mixer brush tool because it is really nice and effective effective and it gets the job done quickly and easily and even someone who is not used to using Photoshop can really get or clean up the backdrops very nice and easily. So just reduce on the size and just look at how these dirty areas are just going to be cleaned with just a single stroke. Just look at this. So I'm just going to clean up this and show you the overall results so let's just have a few seconds just about 10 seconds and we're going to show you the results for the cleaning of the backdrop in this case reduce on the size and you work on a closed area and you can see you can see that these dead areas just click and clean them and you can see it is going to do a very nice and perfect and as well as decent job. So like I said, you have to zoom in and paint in for closer areas so that you don't distort the original color. You have to be careful and it's going to get the job done for you at the end of uh, the clean up process. So just going to zoom out and I look for the blemishes that may have been forgotten or those that may have remained within the image. And with that, just look at how nice and seamless this looks in this case so turn off the black and white layer 
and you look for those areas that you may not have blended in quite well just look at this and I think this is a line let's just get rid of this line right here and just blend it within the back drop so that we can have just a shadow and just look at this how nice and clean this is in this case so you can see the before and after for just cleaning up the backdrop using our missile brush so basically this is how to clean up your studio backdrops in photoshop and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you are watching and you are not subscribe this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating